What's up everybody? Welcome back to Circus Bear Moto. I'm Abel. Well, it's Saturday, December 4th, Pacific Northwest, and that means, of course, it's cold and rainy outside. So I chose not to ride my bike today because I don't want to get caught out in the nasty. But anyway, winter in the Pacific Northwest, that means one thing, winter projects. We're gonna get back on that chopper. Uh, so I'm actually heading to the farm right now and uh, after doing a little day drinking, we're probably gonna end up tearing the uh, tearing our lift apart and replacing all the hardware and painting the lift like we always intended to do. Uh, we just kind of jumped the gun because we wanted to use it. So we never did finish our motorcycle lift when we built it. Uh, it was always meant to be painted and have better, uh, longer lasting hardware put in. So we're gonna be taking care of that this weekend. That's the big project for this weekend. And uh, I figured I might as well bring you guys along for the ride. I haven't made a video in a while. So I'll see you guys when we're back at the farm. So we built this lift about a year ago and we got in such a hurry to get to work on some of our bikes. We never did finish it. We were gonna change out some of the hardware, paint it. So today we are going to pull it all apart, clean it up and get it ready for paint. I think we did. We really do that. I think we cut the heads off of them because they were like hitting in the way of something. Or... So <laughs> that wasn't very smart. <laughs> I can stay together. Fuck it. Great cleaner, good stuff. We'll just huff it. We're huff. We were gonna work, but we huffed instead. It happened. And we're gonna one up the brake cleaner with a gallon of acetone. Yes. So I would like to note when Keith sees this that I buy my own Scotch Bright. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you saying that. <laughs> Show you holding it up and say. Thanks, old friends in New Roads they for supplying. They don't buy it like that at work, but you should. I'd like to thank Keith <laughs> and like old friends in New Roads. Uh, stainless. Don't put your eye on that shit. Right. Ow! This is pokey! <laughs> Yeah, this is pretty thick. Burn, burn, 
manufacturer specs. This is us at Lace. This is I love that you're using a brand new screwdriver too. That's fucking perfect. Yes. <laughs> Use a screwdriver. Okay, it's red, so it matches. I like it. And deductible assistance. This isn't a cliffhanger. Nope. This is a Nissan sales event ad. Don't believe us. Take it from the announcer then. That's right. In the bottom. Sick in the bottom, baby. A few moments later. Think you need more coming out? Uh, yeah, I'm not 100% sure which. I mean, years and years of rattle can professional paint jobs have trained me for this. All right, here's some of the aftermath. Everything's painted nice and red. We did it pretty quick and dirty, but uh, there's a fine red mist on pretty much everything in the garage now. So if you're gonna do something like this, don't half-ass it like we just did. Plan it, do it right. The next day. Batteries went dead on the GoPro. Switching the phone. Dude, this looks so much better than it did before we painted it, even with a quick, dirty paint job. Yeah. Oh, that looks nice. Three days later. What's up, Circus Freaks? Welcome back. Man, it is another shitty winter day in Portland. And, uh, you know, it's pouring down rain. It's cold. Wind's blowing sideways. I'm not riding in this crap. So, <clears throat> to keep myself occupied, I'm heading over to meet up with my buddy Keith. I'm gonna help him out on his podcast. He's asked me to do a guest spot today on his podcast called Some Kind of Show. So we're gonna see how that goes. Uh, last time I did a podcast with him, I had a great time on his other show. So it's a lot of fun, but it's not riding motorcycles. And that's, uh, that is what I would prefer to do. Uh, we're gonna meet up a little early, grab some lunch, and uh, talk about our plans for this spring and summer. We got a couple of rides that we want to do, and uh, I'm trying to talk Keith and maybe some of his crew into flying down to Tampa Bay with me for the Shade Tree Surgeon Forgotten Angels campout, where they're giving away, <coughs> excuse me, not giving away, they are raffling off a brand new Ford Ranger trimmer. And along with that trimmer is going to be a trailer with a customized, built to the nuts, Harley Lowrider on it. Uh, you can get tickets for like 25 bucks a ticket. Uh, I believe they sell five, uh, five tickets for $100 if I remember right. I will go ahead and I'll uh, drop a link 
to the raffle uh, down below. You don't have to be in Tampa during the raffle to win the prize. During the last raffle they did, uh, a guy from Portland won, and what he won was a built to the nuts Harley Road King called Road King Kong. Had a 131 Legend suspension. I mean, it was it's a badass bike. I, ho I hope to uh, see him riding around the area someday so I can get a better look at it. Um, but yeah, this year they're gonna do a lowrider and a, a Ford pickup. So like I said, I'm gonna drop a link in the description down below. I want you guys to go ahead and pause this video right now. Click that link, go buy some tickets. It's for a great cause. It's called Forgotten Angels. And what it is, is a charity that takes in foster kids that have aged out of foster care. So these young men who have been in the system for, you know, a lot of them for their whole lives. Uh, they don't really have a lot to turn to, never had a father figure in their lives. And uh, David and Cindy down at Forgotten Angels in Florida have created this large compound where these, where these boys live and David teaches them life skills and they build their own tiny homes and learn how to drive a stick shift and learn how to ride a motorcycle and you know it's a great cause a hundred percent of the proceeds of your tickets will go directly to forgotten angels so like i said if you haven't done it now pause go buy your tickets come back finish this video i'll wait for you Man, I am in the mood for a bon me. So I'm going to one of my favorite Vietnamese sandwich shops. Best baguette. These sandwiches are bomb. What'd you get, bro? Same exact thing. Same thing. All right, got to get the the food review shot. I'm really terrible at. Uh, the in public uh, vlogging part of things. Oh, you already dug in. All right, I'm gonna do my best, my best uh, shade tree impression when I bite into the sandwich. <laughs> These are good, man. Delicious. Okay, podcasting done, man. I'm glad that I have another outlet for when it's raining like this. Um, I've been a part of a couple of podcasts for friends now and uh, I really enjoy doing it. I'm actually thinking about starting one myself. Uh, drop me a comment if that's something you'd be interested in. Uh, you know, just having a, a podcast similar to the channel where me and friends uh, sit around and talk shit, talk about motorcycles. If you're, uh, if you're into listening to podcasts and you're watching this, uh, let me know. One week later. Okay, welcome back to Circus Bear Moto. As promised, we are getting back on our chopper project. It's been way too long. It's been sitting here in a thousand pieces in the garage for over a year now because we've been so busy. But the weather is so shitty that there's really no riding right now. So back at it we go. We recently kind of finished our lift, so it's time to get back to welding and grinding on this frame. So today we're gonna to pull this front end off, kind of get it out of our way, and get in here and start cleaning up some of the welds and finish welding some of these uh, frame tubes, uh, finish up some of our welds where we put the hardtail to the old frame and just start working on getting this thing clean and smooth and then we'll be on to the next project. Uh, we've been working pretty randomly so we decided to go ahead and make ourselves a list and uh, this is just our starter list in no particular order but it's gonna be a lot easier to keep track of everything. We'll be adding to and subtracting from the list as we go. And uh, we're just gonna get after it today. Hey, that worked out. So we've decided that this uh, stock kick stand on the frame is just in the fucking way. So we are about to take it off uh, for a little bit easier handling of this frame and 
Looks like there's a broken piece on the kickstand anyway. We might be replacing it, we might be repairing it, we don't know yet, but that's the first step. So part of what we're doing is filling in some little pinholes and uh, little divots that we've found uh, either in the factory welds or in our own welds. Uh, we're using uh, silicon bronze uh, filler rod on the TIG welder. Filling in a lot of weird little divots we had where we're trying to make the welds look a little smoother. And uh, you can see that we lay it in there, it looks like normal weld. And then hopefully you can see the color change. Structurally, the welds were fine. We just had a couple of weird looking little spots that weren't smooth enough looking for uh, when we're gonna paint the frame, so. And we're working to avoid putty. Yeah, we don't wanna have to use putty, filler, anything like that when we finally spray this frame. So that's kind of what it looks like and everything's turning out really good. Someday, baby, you ain't worry my life anymore.